ladies and gentlemen good afternoon now i believe your morning was well just like mine here in nairobi now kenyans must rethink the best path to follow ahead of 2027 general election as a bipartisan talk won't bring a lasting solution that is my analysis today but before i proceed and tells you why this bipartisan talk will fail if this is your first time you are watching me i will request you click at the subscription button in the in the youtube and subscribe in that the video that i will always upload to you will automatically comes to you immediately when you are in youtube channel and to the members i'm still appreciating the effort that you are doing through your subscriptions likes comments and also sharing now the talk cannot be done in the parliament i'm talking about what is now happening in the country at this moment the Azimio coalition and Kenya Kwanza had selected the team to take on this bipartisan uh, peaceful consultation and I've been thinking of this and I've realized that this is not going to actually work smoothly remember I was also someone, Ekuro Oyatani Okot, I've also supported this by saying this is going to fail. So I believe it is not me or I myself. I think even you who is watching, this is just a political pastime to entice the Azimio coalition not to make government on toast through demonstration and also uh, not to make them to lower down the prices of commodities. Again, this is again a way of uh, telling the United Nations that they are, Kenya is ethnicity based on trustworthy peaceful consultation. Well, I appreciate peaceful consultation. But this is just a political uh, enticement where these people only love themselves, both sides, be it Azimio and also Kenya Kwanza. The reason why the bipartisan talk will not uh, succeed is this. It is done in the parliament because Parliament is simply dead and MPs have mortgage to pay. Again, this bipartisan talk between Raila and Ruto is bringing a clear picture that these people are just dodging with term because the Mr. 100 days is now failing and what is the best solution remember as i am speaking at this moment even the cs have not been paid they are saying that the economy is really really thwarted that the ex president uru megai kenyatta left nothing in the treasury but that cannot make the government to run smoothly remember the same government which is saying that the economy is low is the same government traveling to the United States of America, traveling to uh, Australia, not only the president but also other government officials. Where are this money coming from? And if you look at this, we see they are now making opposition to be weak through this bipartisan talk this government 
according to my observation, requires a strong and stronger opposition. I would rather advise the side of opposition to be on toes and be aware that this is just a way of influencing or enticing them to cool down and make the government uh, to do whatever they want to do. But it is always very, very good to have a stronger opposition. So that is why I'm saying this is going to fail. And again, these people are not going to listen to one another as we are hoping for. Because on the other side, we are seeing Rigadi Gashagwa and uh, Akina Kimani Chungwa. They are really making this to work. And also the other side, we are seeing uh, uh, Pia Wandai and uh, the team. And Otienda Molo. So these people are tough-headed. So if they sit together, they are not automatically going to listen to one another. That is why I'm saying that this is going to fail. Then thirdly is this. William Samuel Ruto knows very well that he is playing his card safe. And for him to finish this man, Raila, he must go to him wisely. Maybe if this is the right way to go, then it will mark the end of the former prime minister in being strong opposition. The same way, Raila Amolodinga knows very well that if this is the end of William Samoy Ruto, then I will use this. This bipartisan talk, it will require this requirement, the servers to be open, the life of uh, commodity things to go down, and so many other things. So these people are playing game. And that is why I'm saying if you weigh, at the end it is going automatically to fail. What are your observations on this bipartisan talk ahead of us? With me, I'm saying it and I'm repeating it. It is not going to be a good agreement as you are hoping for. What are your views? You can as well drop your comment at the comment section below. So that is what I had to you, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, it is always very, very good. Remember, even Azimio or Kenya Kwanza has more MPs as compared to uh, Azimio La Umoja. So <laughs> it is going to be a little bit challenging. So that is what I had, and I'm wishing you a blessed evening or afternoon. As I am waiting for your comment, and remember, don't forget to like after you've watched the channel and also to share to your friends and family. I'm really appreciating the effort as we are hoping for the better future of the Republic of Kenya. Bye bye and may you have a blessed afternoon and evening. Thank you.